Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to episode number 82 here on season one. Today, we are talking Betterment Acorns. Should you have both? This question comes from Tam Lee, and they ask, or he or she asks, do you have a Betterment account, and should you use both Betterment and Acorns, or just focus in on one account? Um, both of those are very good questions, so I guess it's a two-part question. We'll go ahead and dive into it. The, the microphone today is actually just like a piece of metal. It's not even really a microphone. I think it's used for like a router or something like that. But anyways, it's really awesome. I, I, I can't believe that I've used 82 different microphones on this, on this season. Like, that's crazy. Um, the nice thing is, is that people will start sending microphones in, and then I won't have to come up with my own microphones. I can just use theirs. Anyways... Uh, so yeah, do I have a Betterment account? First of all, the first answer to that is no. If you watched my last episode, you would know that. However, this was a, like a way earlier question, so I just wanted to tackle it, come kind of clear and clear the mud. I don't have a Betterment account. Uh, this is because I did not hear about Betterment until I was already signed up on Acorns, Stash, um, and Robinhood, and now Stash Retire. So I, a lot of my funds are allocated over there and over there and over there, and so I was like, I don't really have much more to give to a different account. And so I was like, I'll wait until I start generating more money, and then I can start putting it into a different account. Um, that way, I have experience and know what I'm talking about, and then I can bring it to you guys, the viewer, and be like, hey, this is what my experience is. This is what I recommend doing. This is how I see it working out on there. Um, <clears throat> first of all, like, also, I need to do more research on what kind of services they, they have, because I feel like in my research right now, I feel like they're pretty similar to Acorns in how they work, how they operate, how like the account is all set up, and how they rebalance and then that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, should you use both Betterment and Acorns to or just focus in on one account? So here's okay, everything's considered they're both free. As far as returns go, I think they should be about the same as long as you're getting uh, higher than like a seven or 8% return, you'll be beating the S&P 500. So if they can do that, then more props to you. It doesn't matter what account you use or it doesn't matter if you use both accounts. Uh, the nice thing about diversifying though is that you know one account might get you only an 8% return, the other one could get you 10, so you would make more money that way. And predicting which one would give you a 10% return is kind of really hard, so it's like um, you don't really know. So that's why like diversifying usually works a little bit better. However, um, if you were to put the same amount of money, so if you deposited like $100 uh, to open the account and then $100 a month, by the age that you were 45, you would have, at the 7% return, you would have the same amount of money um, if you opened both accounts and did that at the same time. Then if, if you were to open one account and do $200 and a $200 monthly deposit, you would have exactly the same amount of money. So like money-wise, you're not going to get rich off just having one account. However, one thing that I didn't think about was the fact that both those companies, Acorns and Betterment, are going to charge you a fee for having that account. Acorns, I know, is a dollar. I don't know what the um, the account um, fee on Betterment is, but I know that Acorns right now has, like, if you sign up and you're a student, you get, like, four years for free if you have a, a student email address, which is what I use. So my Acorns account will be free for the next four years, which is why I was able to open up a stash, because now stash takes over that fee, and so I'm like, it doesn't matter for me that much. However, um, if, if, if both of them are a dollar fee, then opening one account is going to give you a higher return than opening two accounts because you're going to be paying $2 a month on fees instead of $1 a month, which in essence comes to $24 a year instead of, our, yeah, instead of $12 a year. So you're going to be paying twice as much to have two accounts instead of only having one. However, if they're both giving you the same return, then really it would be more smart for you just to go with one account instead of opening up two different accounts and then paying twice as much to have those accounts open. I hope that it, that explains it. Um, so I would, I would suggest for you, especially if they're very similar in the way that they operate, just stick with one account. I mean, you could stick with Acorns. You could stick with Betterment. I feel like they do the same kind of thing with rebalancing. Acorns might, have where, might provide a service where they do roundups where Betterment doesn't, but honestly, like, you could just deposit more into your Betterment account to make up for those roundups. Like it's really completely up to you. If you like the way that Betterment is set up, then go ahead and use Betterment and just use solely that app. Like if you like the way that Acorns are set up, just use Acorns. Also, 
take into consideration what ETFs you're investing in on both. So on Acorns, you use a lot of Vanguard funds. You want to make sure that if you're if you're going to use two different accounts, make try to make sure that the ETFs over here on Acorns are not the same ETFs that are on Betterment because then you can get different returns. If they're the same exact ETFs, then you're going to get the same returns. Like if one ETF goes up and you have the same holding over here, it's going to go up too like it's an ETF. So make sure that they're different or that they that not all of them are the same because then you might get some different returns. So you might get a little bit more like variability between accounts. However, I hope that that wraps it up. Let's go ahead and dive into the question of the day. The question of the day is, what was your favorite childhood video game? And that would be James Bond 007. I think when I was playing, it was uh, like my, one of the first ones was like GoldenEye. Um, but then there was like, I think one where it was like Winner and stuff like that. It was one of the first ones that came out on Xbox. Uh, loved playing that game. That was like one of my favorite things. You could fly like these missiles around and stuff like that. I don't know. Probably the best game that I, I remember playing back in the day besides like playing Madden, which Matt, you know, Madden's here to stay, let's be honest. So anyways, I hope that gives you a little bit of insight into my life. If you guys have any questions about Stash, Acorns, or Robinhood, or just general investing advice, go ahead and post it down below. I also do talk about business, Etsy, and coaching as well, but those are few and far between. And, you know, every other episode you might see a random one with Jacob or we might just be talking about like the Floyd Mayweather fight. But anyways, I'm trying to keep it as real as possible. So until next time, don't forget to subscribe up here and check out how do I keep an 8% return on my Acorns account. And then check out this other cool video right about here. And until next time, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it.